Hey you, stop using those damn sun bracers and put those grippers away, because I got a build for you. Before we even get any deeper into what makes the build, I need you guys to go to the Ghost of the Deep dungeon and get this GL. Uh, specifically with Demolitionist, it's all you really need. The origin trait uh, gives you a free extra shot after you finish someone or revive an ally. I have one with Demo and Collective Action. I like this so much that I have one with Adrenaline Junkie, but I think Collective Action is more consistent for the damage boost. Um, but we're going to be using Void Walker. Uh, I don't really care what Nova Bomb you use. I just use Scatter for the short cooldown. We're going to be using Child of the Old Gods, Feed the Void, Echo of Obscurity, Cessation, Starvation, and Persistence. The loadout doesn't really matter as long as you have the GL equipped. Personally, my favorite loadout with this is a uh, Merciless and a Machine Gun. This loadout is very adaptable if you need champion mods, so... Feel free to switch your loadout as long as you have the GL equipped. Obviously, you want Felwinter's Helm. Uh, I just put Stasis Siphon and Harmonic Siphon, well as Heavy Ammo Finder, just because why not? Felwinter's Helm places a debuff on anything around you that you finish or use your melee on, and it's the equivalent of a Tractor Cannon debuff or Tether. Um, you want Firepower. Uh, other mods don't really matter. On your chest, I just want Charged Up so you don't have awkward stacks. Stacks on stacks. I don't really care whatever leg armor you use. Uh, I just personally use restoration and more grenades. And then we're going to use special finisher just to future proof ourselves when that double special nerf comes in. Most definitely want proximity ward because uh, you're going to be finishing a lot. No homo. Then you want reaper. A lot of the footage is going to come from the GM Corrupted and Ghost of the Deep dungeon. Because, you know, I'm trying to sell you guys a build. I don't play with none of that bullshit. So if it works in here, that means something. Now the loop is really just place your rift down, shoot them a little bit so they have the weaken, and then, and since it's a GM, they don't really get weakened like that, but in normal content, they usually be in finisher level. Now this is where the fun happens, where you can shoot your grenade launcher twice, throw your grenade, and then you have it again. And then if the grenade launcher gets them low, you finish them, and then guess what? The whole loop starts again if you killed enough people. And then you'll have Devour up and so on. Then you just repeat and do whatever the hell you want. The build's pretty simple. If you need to get out of tough situations, you know, wipe a whole crowd with the GL. And if you need to get out of something hairy, you just finish something. Weaken everything around them, which also suppresses so they won't be shooting you if they're just some mob enemies. And they won't be shooting your teammates. And they also take 35% more damage, so... If you made it this far, I do have another build uh, for Arc Hunter. If you haven't checked that out already, go ahead. Here is the build itself. If you just want to pause and read. If you guys want more Destiny content or more build videos, please let me know down below by liking, subbing, and sharing with your friends. And take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love, baby.